And now Cliff Mitchellmore makes a special appeal on behalf of Ethiopia, where millions face starvation. On the parchment-coloured hillsides of Tigray, the famine has come again. Beyond the reach of the outside world this time, it's happening again. Children wasting away in their parents' arms, sinking into sickness and exhaustion. Already the poorest country in the world, Ethiopia is racked by civil war and plagued by drought. It's now facing a disaster of truly horrific proportions. More than four million people, mainly in the northern provinces of Tigray, Eritrea and Wallow, are on the brink of starvation following the failure of this year's harvest. 95% of crops have failed in places and there will not be another harvest for at least 12 months. Food supplies will run out after Christmas, threatening the people of Ethiopia with yet another devastating famine. It's only five years since over three quarters of a million people died of starvation, but for an overwhelming response from the international community, millions more would certainly have perished. Drought has struck northern Ethiopia again, heaping misery on a people suffering a decades-old civil war. Already some are dying. As always, it's the old or the very young who suffer most. Warnings have come early enough to prevent widespread starvation, but there's a desperate need to get food through immediately. She is very badly malnourished, this child. Again, you can see by her legs. Hmm? Yeah. Oh, gosh. So what, 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 what's likely to happen to her? Well, there is a child that I am not able to tell you what is likely to happen to her. Uh, she is in need of food. She is in need of treatment. And um, for her and for many more like her, the situation is we literally have to get in food and drugs and we have to get it in very soon because how is she going to live depending on rainfall in the coming year they may have food by this time next year if their crops grow but from now until next year that child is not going to live from now until next month never mind from now until next year five major british charities have jointly launched the disasters emergency committee appeal for funds as they did during the 1984 ethiopian famine they're the British Red Cross, Cathard, Christian Aid, Oxfam, and Save the Children Fund. And with me, I have Nicholas Hinton from Save the Children, one of the charities organising the relief operation. How will you use the money? Well, first and foremost, to purchase food and trucks to transport that food to people that desperately need it. Then we also need emergency medical supplies and other relief supplies like plastic sheeting. We need all the money we can get. Our aim, our challenge, is to keep four million people alive. How will you make sure the aid gets through to the people who really need it most? Well, we shall continue working with local organisations in all parts of Ethiopia. We also have our own staff on the ground, and their job is to monitor what's going on. And I think through the experience we've all had, we can guarantee that aid gets there quickly, efficiently and fairly. What about people who say, why should we give again? Well, four million people are today facing food shortages. Unless we act now, Four million people will be facing starvation shortly after Christmas. We cannot let that number of people die. Nicholas Hinton, thank you very much indeed for coming in. The five British aid charities are working against time to prevent widespread starvation. The Disasters Emergency Committee needs money now to purchase vast amounts of food and the transport to carry it to those most in need. It's critical that the supplies are urgently dispatched so that they arrive while people are still in their home areas. Otherwise, villagers will be forced into a hopeless and exhausting trek in search of food at camps miles from their home. We need your help to ensure that the devastating famine of 1984 is not repeated in 1990. Please give as much as you can afford. You can make a donation simply by paying it over the counter at any high street bank or post office. Or you can give using any major credit card by phoning 01 200 0202. That number will be open tonight and for the rest of the week. Two other numbers you can call until midnight tonight. They are 01 541 4166 or 0272 232 232. Or you can send your donations by post to me. Cliff Mitchell Moore, Ethiopia Famine Appeal, PO Box 999, London EC 2R 7ET. That's Ethiopia Famine Appeal, PO Box 999, London EC 2R 7ET. The address is also on page 646 of CFAX. Please do 